Guess what I'm going to teach you how to do? What? How to make rice pudding. <laughs> that was funny. Hello, everyone. We hope you are all staying safe and healthy during these difficult times of quarantining and social distancing. And we hope that, you know what, you've been able to take this time to spend some special time with your family. That's what we have been doing here. We've been having a lot of fun and doing some baking and cooking and playing games. Meanwhile, today, we are gonna to try to bring some love and joy to your home by sharing my mother's delicious rice pudding. And Alexandra is very excited about it. What goes in the rice pudding? Uh, milk. Okay. Salt. Yes. Um, sugar. Yep. Rice. Uh huh. And vanilla extract. And what else? And love. Love. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and time to bake. Time to bake. That's one good. I'm going to pour it on the cake. Maybe it's a little less than one cup now. Now, as you guys can see, this is regular old long grain rice, extra long grain rice. Nothing special about it. It's absolutely fine. So now what we want to do is put this over here. This is like an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. So now we're going to stir this around and we are going to let it simmer on the lowest heat possible for 45 minutes to an hour until the rice begins to break. What is the other ingredient you need when you're making rice pudding? Patience. You need a little bit of patience because this is going to take about two hours, but I promise you it's going to be so delicious. This rice has really soaked up the two cups of water. So you have to come by and stir it and then add tiny bits of water in small increments. As you can see, the rice has fully broken apart now. It's been simmering for 45 minutes, and now we need to add the milk and the sugar. I can do that. You're going to do that? Are you going to do that before or after you get that little piece of rice off your face? Where you go. Good job. High five. I have a long time. <laughs> so, now, you use, you begin with a half a cup of sugar. That's it. And then you go from there. You decide how sweet you want your rice pudding. Just taste it as you go along and you'll know. So then, we only have 1% milk. So we're using one cup of 1% milk and one cup of half and half to make our own full fat milk. Now you're gonna let this simmer for another 45 minutes on the lowest flame possible. I know that sounds like a really long time because you've already cooked the rice for 45 minutes with the water. Now we're gonna do it again for 45 minutes but the reason being is because that starch in the rice is gonna release, and this is where the really great flavor comes in. That's where the thickener comes in. That's why we're not using any cornstarch or anything. It just thickens up by itself. So, as you can see, here we are 45 minutes later after we've added the sugar and the milk. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful and fluffy that is. And now I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, which will change the color a little bit, but that's okay. or use your leftover jelly that everyone has in the refrigerator. Put a little doll of jelly on top if you like. Do you love it? Can I have some whipped cream on it? You want whipped cream on it? Uh-huh. Is Yaya's rest? Oh, here comes Yay! Grandma with the whipped cream. Oh, oh <laughs> yeah. my gosh. Can you say thank you, Grandma? Thank you, 